So today we finally got some decent information for COD 2020. And this thing seems to be absolutely as legit of a leak as it comes. I don't know if it's really counts as a leak, but I guess it does because, yeah, it's a leak, I guess. But uh, this is actually very, very interesting because today we got leaked the official logo of COD 2020. Of course, alongside with that, obviously, would come the official name of COD 2020. And yes, the rumors are correct. It is going to be Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which is a mouthful, as we all know. But, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know how it is. It's I think it's the longest name that we've ever had in a Call of Duty game's history, because normally it's just Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare, Infinite Warfare, you know, just stuff like that. So this one's kind of a bit longer, has a lot of words, which I know for the average Call of Duty player, that is hard to keep up with. Like, I can't remember, like, you have to remember Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War. That's seven war words right there. Like, how am I supposed to remember that? I don't know, man. I don't know. I just hope you guys can figure out a way to do it. But either way, um, with the name, I do got to mention that it does. It's kind of giving me the feeling. Of course, it's just a feeling, you know, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. But it, to me, it feels like it's not going to be like a reboot like we got with Modern Warfare, considering they're not just calling it Black Ops or something like that. But then again, you know, the original one was called COD 4 Modern Warfare, and this one just Call of Duty Modern Warfare, so they got away with that. So maybe it is still a reboot, and then they knew they already had a game called, you know, Black Ops or Call of Duty Black Ops, so they couldn't do that. So I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work here, but uh, either way, I'm just curious how, if they did want to continue this as a series, how exactly would they do it? Would they call it Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War 2? Or are they going to just switch up the name based on the era that's going to be in? It's going to be called Call of Duty Black Ops, you know, World War II. I don't know. Either way, uh, we'll see how that all turns out. But of course, I want to actually show you guys the logo, even though you guys probably already seen it by now, because I'm very, very fast. And, you know, I, I upload these videos faster than Charlie Intel tweets out its tweets. If you guys didn't know. Either way, um... I can't show you the exact thing because I am scared scared because last video or stream I did uh, it got blocked worldwide for an entirely different reason that we're not going to talk about so I don't want to risk showing this image here um, either way though. Uh, I will show you a, re a remade a version of it, which, by the way, I'm stealing and going to use for all my thumbnails ever. Huge uh, shout out to Legitimized Gamer. Uh, he's the one who originally made this, but as you guys can see, it says Call of Duty Black Ops and then big old words Cold War. Again, if you guys want to check out the original tweet, the PNG, the nicer made an official PNG for everybody to steal and not credit, you know. He's a mad lib. I'm going to credit him because he's such a nice guy, and I'll uh, link it down in the description because, you know, he's a cool guy who uh, went out of his way to make this. So, you know, I'm happy with that. But either way, logo's a logo, man. I don't know what to say about it. There's a cut in the A, and, uh, yeah, um, it's cool, I guess. But either way, there's another piece of information. This is coming from Proto War, excuse me, Proto War. Warhouse, warehouse, excuse me, I could say words that uh, are English, but either way, he is kind of giving an idea of when we could start seeing one, the reveal date, two, the beta date, and maybe even around the, re the release date. And, uh, you know, even though there's no reason we have to believe that any of this is accurate, since it does agree with what I have said in the past, I'm going to speak of it like it is gospel. So, what he says is the reveal date is going to be August 5th, which is obviously the same day as Season 5 for Warzone. So, you know, all the rumors of some reveal for COD 2020 being Warzone seem more and more and more and more and more and more likely. So, uh, yeah, that's probably, I could see that very, very likely. And then we have a beta in September, which I don't know exactly when Modern Warfare's beta was, but I do remember that Infinite Warfare's beta uh, was in September also, and people were, you know, kind of bashing on that thing. So this isn't a beta, this is a demo. You guys ain't going to change nothing. And we were all right to, you know, given that. But either way, uh, you know, that's kind of a thing. But the difference from this, and or maybe what the difference is between this and the September beta for Infinite Warfare, or, uh, is that Infinite Warfare still came out in early November, whereas there is this, again, rumor from Proto War Warehouse. I can't stop. I just want to call them Warehouse. I don't know why. But either way, the rumor is, is that 
the release date is going to be in December to coincide with the release of the next gen consoles. Now, the reason I want to believe this is because this is what I've been saying. I've been saying that the reason we probably haven't got a reveal is because it's probably pushed to December. And that's what I've been saying. So this is gospel because it agrees with me. Now, the fact that we got these uh, Dorito leaks earlier makes it seem less likely that uh, it's coming out in December solely because of the fact that, uh, you know, they probably wouldn't start putting the double XP tokens on Dorito bags this early on because these things are probably coming out in the next shipment of these dorito bags considering that they're seeing that the the people who are in the warehouses are seeing them so it seems a little less likely but either way since that doesn't line up with what i guessed originally i'm going to ignore that entirely and agree entirely with proto war warehouse that's his name again dang uh either way again the reveal probably going to be on season five of warzone beta it's probably going to be in september maybe i don't know that's probably the most iffy one for me but then again the december one is kind of like the gospel truth because that's what i said back in the day and that's how that works here that's that's how that works because whatever i just randomly throw out of nowhere as a release date a few months ago that is true that's how it works that's that's how that works but either way um, I don't know if the consoles are actually coming out in December, because if that's true, this guy, the uh, Proto Warhouse, Warehouse, his name, he also confirmed the release dates of the uh, next-gen consoles, which, you know, that's a thing, but either way, I still see it very likely that uh, this game's going to come out alongside or around the exact same time as next-gen consoles, because, you know, that's, that's a thing that they do, I guess, because I really didn't like how they handled Call of Duty Ghosts, like, they released it on the net last gen i guess the ps3 xbox 360 and then the new gen came out like a month or so later and then you had to pay ten dollars to upgrade it it was so dumb like i was just like that's that's just dumb but either way i'm not really saying anything of uh usefulness right now not that i ever did throughout this entire video but either way that's about it for me uh tell me what you guys think about everything because i kind of care about what you have to say at least when it's something useful and like something that I didn't think about because, you know, if you just repeat what I said, then, you know, you're just copying me and you're not as cool as me because I said it first before anybody else who has ever been born. But I don't know what I'm saying now. Can I just end the video already? Yes. Thank you. Anyways, that's about it for me. If you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and do all the normal YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, bell, share, and all that great stuff. But I'm going to go at you guys next stream video or whatever it may be. And laters, guys. Why do I salute at the end of my videos? What is that?